you're suing the airline for throwing you off your flight. I've been reading a lot of stories like that. What happened? You were just exercising your free speech? That is concerning. Apparently, a lot of Trump supporters have been asked to deplane for wearing MAGA hats, or so they claimed. Is that what happened to you? Not exactly. What do you mean? You're not pro-Trump, you're just anti-Biden. And how did you express your opinion? The slogan on your sweatshirt, what did it say? Uh, impeach Slow Joe? Lion Biden? Joe must go? No, none of those? Ah, then it must have said, let's go Brandon. Sort of? Uh, well, what exactly did it say? F Joe Biden. Ah, I see the problem. It's not a problem. It's censorship. Actually, private businesses are allowed to set their own standards of conduct, which includes prohibiting offensive language. Then they should have said so. You mean in their terms of use? Actually, they do. They write in their contract of carriage, we may refuse to transport or may remove passengers when their conduct, attire, hygiene, or odor creates an unreasonable risk of offense or annoyance to other passengers. But when you contacted a representative, she explicitly told you there were no attire regulations? I suppose that does reflect poorly on the airline's professionalism and customer service. So that you can't reasonably expect an outsourced phone rep reading from a script in her second language to be fluent in all the details of airline policy. You can, and you do, of course. And the flight attendant should have warned you before they ejected you. Well, I think that would have been reasonable. They didn't give you one single warning. They did. They warned you several times, but you continued to refuse right up until security came and removed you. So I'm not sure I understand your argument. You were making a stand on principle, defending the Constitution, and that makes you a political prisoner. Uh, I think you have to have the government incarcerate you for that status to apply. Excuse me? If this were really about policy, they wouldn't have had to pretend it was because you weren't wearing a mask? Because you were wearing your mask. No, you weren't. You were also protesting the COVID conspiracy. Well, good luck with your lawsuit. Maybe wear the same sweatshirt when you show up for trial. Then you can claim First Amendment protection when the judge throws you and your case out of court.